Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about encryption. We are going to demonstrate this by sending a message, uh, encrypting it with a key and decrypting it again. So we're going to use Python to demonstrate this. And first of all, I'm going to create my clear text unencrypted message, which is just um, an 8-bit binary number. So I'm going to put this number here which is uh, the number 192 in binary um, don't worry if you don't know binary at this stage I'll um, show that in a different video but um, today we're going to show just how we can uh, use two numbers to encrypt a message and how to decrypt it again so one number here is our data string and the other number here is our key so this is an 8-bit encryption key so we will do a number of 15 in binary um, which is four zeros four ones and the method called anding is where we look at the top number and the bottom number and if it's a one or a zero or a zero or one or a one or a one then the answer will be a one. If it is a zero and a zero, the answer will be zero. So that may sound a little bit confusing at first, but basically uh, you compare the top line with the bottom line, number by number, um, and if uh, the top number and the bottom number are zeros, then the answer is zero. If the uh, if it's any other number than zero, then um, it will uh, be a one. So, just to demonstrate uh, adding these two together to get an answer, I'm just going to put this into a string and add them together. So, if I type in encrypted, which is the uh, string name, and we are going to add the two together. So, data two plus int key. and now if we print the result of this uh, so we're going to print the encrypted string just run this we can see now we've got 207 so that is the binary number here 192 plus the binary number 15 so 192 plus 15 is 207 uh, and I've just uh, used this command here to display it as a decimal number so we can see it more easily. I'm just going to uh, display it also as well. <coughs> excuse me, as a um, binary number, so we can see how the ending works there. So encrypted underscore binary string equals binary encrypted. <coughs> and we're going to print what it looks like in binary 2 uh, have you spelled that right? binary run this now we can see this number here um, is the if I just copy that and paste this over to here and put this underneath we can now see that the first column here, if it's a 1 and 0, it's 1. If it's a 1 and 0, it's 1. If it's a 0 and 0, it's 0. A 0 and 0 is 0. And a 0 and 1, again, is 1, and so on. So that's how anding works. It adds the two numbers together. Um, and if it's uh, anything other than 0, it will put a 1 there. So that is our output here. So what we can do now is we can save that uh, binary number to a file and uh, we can uh, use a decryptor which also has this key here to get the number back again so the thing here the key thing here is forgive the pun but the key thing here is um, that no one knows the value of the key so we don't know but uh, 
just by seeing the number 207 here, we don't know that our data is 192. Uh, we just know that uh, 207 is the sum of two numbers. So to get that 192, we need to have that key as well uh, to take off of uh, off of the sum number to get back to our beginning number again. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to um, show you how to just output this to a file. Um, so that's our encrypted secret file and then uh, how to decrypt it again. So what we're going to do is going to get rid of this data here um, and we're going to uh, just put an input box. So I'm going to print um, enter number between 1 and 256. Um, you could do between 0 and 256, but uh, 0 isn't really, really a number, so we'll go with 1 to 256. Uh, we'll put these uh, in quotes. And uh, we'll just create our um, input box. So we'll do data equals input and um, we're going to put this number in in a decimal number, so uh, we're going to change this to from 2 base to 10 base here. Um, and let's just see what happens now. So let's just run this. And we can see it's asking us to enter a number between 1 and 256. Uh, I'm going to put the number 50 down, and uh, it's going to add the key number 15, which is. Uh, to the 50 which gives us 65 and um, we have this number here uh, which is uh, the total this is the number 65 here so it's given us 64 here plus a 1 to make 65 so that's 65 in binary the number after the B so next what we want to do is just want to output this to a file so uh, in our script here let's just uh, open um, a file called let's call it secret message secret message text file and uh, we will open it up for writing so we are just going to put a W here to write to that file and we are going to write uh, the answer uh, which is N encrypted underscore binary uh, and close that file again uh, f dot close so I uh, can't spell too well here today uh, so f dot close so now let's just go to um, a folder here and um, I'll just save this And, excuse me, and run this. Uh, we can now put our number in. Let's put 50 in again. And it will create this message here called secret message. So when we open this up, we have our binary number here, which uh, is 65 in binary, not 50. And uh, the only way to get 50 back is by decoding that with the uh, original key of 15. So what I'm going to do now is move on to decrypting that. So we're going to create a new um, new file, and uh, we are going to save that as a file called decrypt. Decrypt. Here we go. Um, we're going to put our key in again, so that key is known between the encryptor and the decryptor, so it's a shared key. So we're just going to um, print here a little message just saying code decryptor and uh, just put a backslash n just as a carriage return there. And now we're going to open our file to decrypt.
So we called it secret message. We're going to open it up as a read only file. So with an R here, uh, we are going to um, create a string calling it binary data equals f dot read. We are then going to close the file and uh, we are now going to print the result of this. So print binary underscore data. So first of all, if we just run this, um, you'll see that it's going to read this file. Uh, so I haven't put close my parentheses. Uh, um, so being data is not defined. So let's just change that to an A there. Um, so we can see on here that uh, uh, it's just read in that string. Uh, so that's the encrypted um, string still. We just now need to uh, um, take off the uh, result of that. So uh, we're going to uh, do a data equals int bin underscore data um, base two and we're going to take off the key number so key base equals two okay so data equals the bin data minus the key data and we're going to print data like that and run this and we can see now the result here is shown as 50 so um, that is our uh, clear text our unencrypted message so if we go back to our two messages again we've got our encrypt and decrypt we have uh, basically in binary added on 15 to our number and removed 15 from our number um, but uh, <clears throat> that is what's known as anding and an 8-bit key um, most keys are these days are you know 2048 is a good secure number to encrypt your message um, but this is a, a very simple um, 8 bit encryption and decryption. So um, I hope that makes sense. And um, any questions at the bottom, uh, any comments, then just uh, post them at the bottom and um, I'll hope to answer your question. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Bye.